Hello, I am your host, Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer data from your old PC to your new PC. Um, as long as the, the computer, your old computer is working, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your files, pictures, documents, whatever the case is, user files uh, from your old computer to your new computer. It's fairly simple. Um, you can't transfer the uh, programs that are installed in the operating system. Uh, you will have to reinstall the software to your new computer, but you can transfer uh, stuff like emails and your data files, uh, pictures, documents, whatever the case may be. Um, all you're going to need is a USB adapter. Uh, this will allow you to connect all of your two comp computers together using a USB adapter. Now one is going to have the program. It's going to have a uh, an easy share type program and when you connect them into the computer it will automatically run uh, load up the program. And I'm going to show you what this is going to do and how it's going to work. It's fairly simple. So let me go ahead and show you. Now all we have to do is um, you need to have both computers on. Um, I've got this camera here looking at this video or the, this computer. Uh, I've got my other computer turned on and signed in. All you have to do now is plug in the adapter. One end of the USB cord is going to go into the uh, one computer. The other one is going to plug into the other computer. Now, when it plugs in, it's going to run just like it would if you plugged a new device. It's going to pop up a window uh, and ask you what you want to do. There's a program that's on the data transfer cable that will allow you to synchronize the two computers. And let me show you what I'm referring to. Um, you need to go into your uh, this PC if you're on Windows 8 or File Explorer. Uh, if you're on Windows 7 or earlier, uh, just go to Computer, and you're going to see a list of your drives. Uh, the one you're looking for is the one that shows CD drive. A lot of the times, they will install store a program on the adapter uh, that will allow you to run and synchronize the two computers together. Uh, this one here in this case is called Easy Suite. This is version 5. Uh, it's an older uh, program, but it will work on Windows 8, which you can see here. Uh, let me go ahead and open it. Now, as you can see, i got two computers synchronized. You're going to have two separate windows show up. Um, you're going to top one, you're going to see remote host. The bottom one, you're going to see local host. The remote host is for your other computer. Now, you can work this program on either computer. It doesn't matter. They will be labeled as to which window is which. The remote host is the other computer. Local host is the, the computer you're sitting at. Now, as easy as, I'm going to show you how simple this is. It's not, the, it's not too difficult to do. Uh, the only thing you cannot do is transfer programs. Any program that's been installed into the operating system, you cannot in, uh, transfer. The user files, data files, pictures, documents, emails, whatever the case may be, you can transfer those. If you need to transfer the, uh, the program, it has to be a downloaded version program. For instance, Firefox, Google Chrome, um, those are downloaded type programs. You download them and then install them. Uh, if you have the download setup file, you can transfer that file to your new computer. Most cases, if the program is installed, you will have to reinstall that same program to your new computer. Now, depending on the software, uh, if it's coming from XP or Vista, you, chances are it may not work with Windows 8. Once you have that understood, um, I'm going to show you how to work this. It's very easy to do. Um, you can transfer as much data as you want. Uh, if you have 20 gigabytes of pictures, you can transfer them all over to one place. 
It's fairly simple to do. Uh, the adapter costs about $20. Um, and it's very simple to use as I'm going to show you. I'm going to look at my remote host, which is my old computer, excuse me, my old computer. Uh, here, I'm going to go to D. Here I have my uh, backups, I got my scans, uh, my music, my uh, QBasic, which is a basic language program uh, that I use from time to time. So let me go ahead, uh, click on that and show you this, you know, this is my program uh, that I use. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take this, these files from the remote host and put it to the computer, my local host, which is this computer we're looking at. To do that, all you have to do is right click the folder or file, whichever the case is. Uh, if everything is in the folder you want to move, then select the folder and then copy the folder. Uh, if it's a single file that you want to copy out of a folder, then select that file and then copy it. Uh, once you have a select, choose copy. Now the copy is ready. Now I can switch over to my local host, which is a computer we're looking at, and then I can find a place to store it. Right now, I'm in my downloads folder. This is where I'm going to put it for the time being. Now, this program here, as you see here, which is uh, Chrome, like Google Chrome setup, these type programs you can transfer from your old computer to your new computer. But if it's integrated into the operating system like you would if you installed it, uh, for instance, you can't just take the icon here uh, for Google Chrome and transfer it to your local, your other computer. You can't do that. But the program here that was used to install the program, you can. Now, let me go ahead. Uh, once you're over here, you can right click the background of the window and then choose paste. It's going to copy the files. And as you can see here, now it's showing that it's installed. Now I've got my data transferred. Now, once you do that, now all of your data is transferred. It's not that difficult to do. Um, you can use uh, different ways to do this. You could be on the other computer doing this. You could be on this computer doing this. It doesn't matter. It's very, very easy to do. All you're doing is copy and paste from one computer to another. The only thing we did here is to link the two computers together using a USB adapter, similar to the one I have showed you earlier. Now, you can also synchronize mail. Uh, if you have like Windows Live Mail on your old computer or Outlook Express on the old computer, uh, you can uh, synchronize your mail. Uh, you can synchronize folders. Uh, Easy Mover, uh, what this one does, it allows you to transfer data settings and files from old computer to your new computer. Um, so as you can see here, it's it's fairly simple. Um, you have icons here. It shows you um, which speed you're using. Um, if you're on read only, um, you can. If you're transferring or receiving information, this icon will light up, let you know there's there, there is data being transferred. Uh, you're also having refresh. If you click that, it refreshes the contents on both computers. Uh, your cut, your copy, uh, if you want to delete stuff off your remote, you can. You have full control of the remote host. Uh, if you need assistance, uh, you can choose about. It shows you what version you're using. Now, this is an older program, so if you buy one of these adapters, uh, it may have a much more... Uh, sophisticated software. Just be sure to read the instructions on how to use it. And as you can see, there's different what things that you can do. It's basic, simple to use. You can easily transfer files from one computer to another. 
It's the same exact thing as going from one folder to another, uh, copy and paste. That's all you're doing. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fix-It. Thank you for watching.